Hello designers, my name is Karthik from Design School for WordPress Beginners, the place where I teach you how to design, build and customize your websites. If you are new here, consider subscribing. In this video, I will share 6 new features available with Elementor Pro version 2.5. All these features are exclusive to the Pro version of Elementor. So if you have the free version, you may not notice any difference with the release of Elementor Pro version 2.5. So coming in at number 1 is Motion FX. As the name suggests, it will help you animate or add parallax to any part or any section, column or widget by using Elementor Pro. So under advanced, you now have motion effects. So you can choose mouse effects such as this one or the mouse track or one of the several or all of the several motion effects such as horizontal scroll, vertical scroll, transparency and a lot more. I have made a video separately on explaining each and every feature of motion effects. So you can check Elementor Basics playlist for more information. So it will help you add that parallax to any section, column or widget. So you can have a tilt effect like this one or a mouse track such as this one or a lot more. Coming in at number two is to trigger pop-ups with custom CSS selectors. Well, anything with a class name can actually trigger a pop-up now. So it need not be the Elementor interface. For example, I have a sample post here and I can use a single word to trigger pop-up or, or a set of words or even Gutenberg blocks to trigger Elementor Pro pop-ups. This is made possible with a new feature called custom trigger, custom selector trigger. I've already made a separate video on that. Again, you can find that in the Elementor Basics playlist. It's called how to open pop-ups with custom selectors. So you can watch that if you're interested. So this is, this is actually built with Gutenberg and each of the element that you see is a block. So I've actually set CSS classes to each blocks. So it will trigger pop-ups for me. Again, go ahead and watch that video. Coming in at number three, for a price list widget, you now have dynamic options. So you can have a dynamic title such as this one. As you can see, it will actually take the post title from here. It's built a testing page, so it took it from here. And it can also take inputs from your custom fields. And each of the field here can have dynamic options as you can see here. This is a new feature added in Elementor Pro version 2.5. Coming in at number 4 are dynamic options in the Flipbox widget. Well, even the Flipbox widget, there are dynamic options available for title, description and a lot more. So you can actually set them to any custom field or any of the options available under dynamic options. Again, this is a feature exclusive to Elementor Pro version 2.5. Coming in at Number five are better filter options for post widget, portfolio widget and your WooCommerce products widgets. So here's my portfolio widget and you can see here that I now have two filter options include and exclude. So under include, I can say term and if I have defined custom taxonomy myself by using a third party plugin, I can actually use them as the filters. This was previously not available and it's a feature new to Elementor Pro 2.5. And you can also exclude options such as this one. You can maybe exclude the current post. You can try to avoid duplicates. You can also ignore sticky posts. So if there's any sticky post in your list or in your portfolio, you can ignore that or you can simply show them if you want. The same filter options are available for post widget so that you can design better related posts and have better control over which posts that you need to display using this widget. So you can include by your custom term that you have defined or by author and also exclude. You can also try to avoid duplicates and all that stuff. And of course you can try to ignore sticky posts as well. Finally, there are dynamic options under attributes, which is found under advanced section. So now your custom attributes, can take dynamic options. Well, if you don't know what custom attributes are, don't worry, it's a CSS feature that we'll discuss in the future, but just bear in mind that it can now have dynamic options as well. Here's a bonus feature 
Cloudflare Rocket Loader support. Elementor now supports Cloudflare Rocket Loader out of the box. So when you use Cloudflare along with Elementor, it won't break your designs anymore. Well, you can refer to this documentation from Elementor's website and they've had few instructions to make it work with Elementor or sorry, Cloudflare Rocket Loader. But now it'll just work out of the box as they've added support built right into Elementor's core version. And that's it for now and hope you guys like this video. If you did, make sure to give a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And if you need anything else, don't hesitate to ask. I'm ready to help you. Catch you in the next video. Peace.